There's cause to pause and think for a moment if you visit the Jersey Shore this summer. The nation's oldest working lighthouse is there, and it is marking its 250th birthday. CBS News correspondent Jim Axelrod has more on the guiding light of Sandy Hook. <laughs> no one knows more about the Sandy Hook Lighthouse than historian Tom Hoffman. He's been giving tours here since 1975. It keeps me in shape. It's the original Stairmaster. No one is more knowledgeable or proud of its past. It was built before there was the United States of America. Held by the British during the American Revolution, the lighthouse has gone from lightkeepers using whale oil lamps to being fully automated and operated by the Coast Guard. Located on a peninsula 10 miles south of New York Harbor, its mission has never changed, guiding ships heading into the U.S. People talk about the Statue of Liberty being the first part of America that immigrants saw. They actually would have seen this lighthouse first. You're out on the Atlantic Ocean, you're approaching the harbor, and there's this white tower. It's the Sandy Hook Lighthouse that they see first. During World War II, with German U-boats lurking offshore, the light here was extinguished and the tower painted camouflage. Today, it's a protected national landmark. And for visitors like brother and sister Sharon and Alan Patterson, a part of their family history. I'm the uh, great-great-granddaughter of Charles W. Patterson and the great-great-niece of Sarah Patterson Johnson. Siblings, Charles and Sarah Patterson, served as the lighthouse keepers here for 25 years, starting in 1861, working together to make sure the light never went out. The need for lighthouse keepers eventually faded out, and in an age of GPS technology, the need for lighthouses themselves may soon follow, but never their place in our history. That's what's nice about this lighthouse. Uh, it was built to last. The coastal erosion we hear about at the shore has not threatened that lighthouse. In fact, the natural sand barrier has grown over time.